Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Magda. I come from Norway and I love makeup, especially indie makeup and sparkly makeup. And today I am going to show you guys my revamped ABH subculture palette. And I already uploaded a video on how I kind of changed it from the original to this. So if you're interested in seeing that, I will leave a card up right here somewhere. <laughs> and um, yeah, I will link it down below in my description box as well. But today I'm just going to show you guys the swatches and then I'm also going to create this look that I'm wearing right here using this gorgeous palette and yeah, show you how I did that. So if you're interested in seeing that, then please keep on watching. So here we have the whole palette swatched out and I'm going to zoom you in. So here you can see the swatches with my flashlight onto them. There we are focused. <laughs> so you can see that beautiful iridescent shade. It has like a green to blue shift. The green one with the reddish brown base is absolutely stunning. So intensely sparkly as you can see. <laughs> and the same goes for basically all of these pigments are really really sparkly and shiny. This one has a reddish purpley base with a blue to purple shift. It's almost a little bit teal as well as you can see here. And then we have the two last ones over here. So the first one is kind of more of a peachy pink orangey shade I guess you could say. And it does shift to a greenish gold which you can see like in the very edge there. And then the last shimmer over here is more of a pinkish purpley red <laughs> shade with a blue shift that also goes to, I guess, gold or green. And then of course you have a ton of beautiful mattes that are super grungy and just so perfect together. And now that I have all these sparkly, beautiful shimmers, I'm going to use this palette so much, I feel like. And I'm happy that I kept the peachy shade. As you can see, it's very bright and fun. So yeah, there you have it. So pretty. For the look that I'm going to create using this revamped palette, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do, but I'm just going to start off with this green and I'll probably move into some of these other greens and yellows and I've not decided for the shimmer if I should use one of these but I'm just going to start with my Stasi Al Expression WG1 and on my eye as a base I have the NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eye Primer and then I also have the eye base from Glam Shop more on the outer parts here. So I didn't have too much kick up with this shade which is kind of something I would have expected from all of the reviews of this palette but maybe this is one of the palettes where they changed the formula a little bit. So as you can see I am basically making this just a wing and I am actually going to my graduation party thingy. <laughs> it's kind of just a celebration for the master students at the faculty. So I don't want to have way too many colors. That's why I want to focus on the greens and the yellows. I am noticing that there might be some patchiness right there, so I'm just trying to not uh, mess too much with the shadow and just kind of blend out the edges instead. And I think I'm going to use a different brush, like for example this one, WG3 from the same brand, Stasi Alex. And I'm just really tapping on the shadow where I see that it's slightly patchy. And this one is perfect for winging out. And I'm just placing the shadow a little bit downwards to the lower lash line too so that I can get a more wholesome look. I think I'll dip into Destiny right here which is that other slightly more sagey green and I'll just try to use that just where I blended out the previous shade and use it as slightly like a transition shade almost. I only applied a tiny bit and I do like it but I don't know if you can see that but I do feel like it's kind of getting very dark at my textured skin, like the kind of bumpy texture. So I will have to see how that ends up if I try to like pack on a little bit more shadow without uh, wiping the brush too much. And now I just want to take the WG2 brush and I'll take the shade that is more warm yellow. This one is more cooler toned and has a green undertone. So I'll take, is it called New Wave? Yeah, I'm gonna take this one. 
and this shade I will just be placing all over the lid and blend slightly upwards. And of course I'm just blending those shades together here in the middle. And these ones you can really blend because they're so close on the color wheel so there's no problem blending these, it won't get too muddy or anything. I'm also just dragging a little bit of what's left over on the brush over as the transition shade right here because it just adds a little bit of warmth. So I am loving how this is looking, it's just... I don't know, it's not my favorite mattes, but it's definitely good. I just feel like I have to go in, back in with that deepest green. I don't know if you can see that, but that might have something to do with the primer I'm using, that it's too wet. But also the Anastasia Beverly Hills primer is even more wet than this, so I don't know. We will see. So this is where I got with the blending. I don't think it's perfect. I feel like the transition is looking pretty good, but exactly where it is the most pigmented it doesn't look perfect but i'm just going to go in with my glam glue and i'm going to go in with the shimmer so i'm going to use the iridescent one for the inner part of the crease and then i'm going to use the um, green one for the rest That was the finished look using this gorgeous palette and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I went for one of the classic sunflower looks that I just never seem to get enough of and yeah, I, I'm really happy with how it turned out. It was a little bit work to blend with the mattes but I did get there and it wasn't too hard. And the shimmers are just so, so stunning. Of course, since I just pressed these myself with a little bit of isopropyl meristate, they're not that easy to work with. They're quite flaky and glittery and I did get glitter everywhere in my face when applying them, but I don't really mind that because I just wipe it off afterwards, put on my skincare and then um, the rest of my skin makeup. And I'm just so happy with how sparkly and dimensional it looks. So I'm really, really excited that I ended up creating this palette, like <laughs> changing the shimmers and some of the mattes to these gorgeous pigments. I would love to hear what you think of this uh, color story down below in uh, my comment section. And I would also really appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you want to see more content from me. So I want to thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye.